Welcome! Are you looking to color your grays, but with henna and a little bit confused if henna really covers grays? Today's top topic is all about that. If you already purchased your henna, here is a few tips to help with the best coverage gray that you can get with henna. The best method to use to help get the best gray coverage is to always mix your henna with coffee. So right here we have the grounds, but of course you need to brew it. So the black brewed coffee is what you need to mix it with. So instead of using um, just water, just mix your whole henna mixture with black brewed coffee. You can also use tea, um, a black tea to give the same enhancement to get more richer color. As just make well. sure your coffee or tea is not boiling. You do not want to mix with super boiling. I would say lukewarm would be just fine. Um, if you don't have coffee or black tea, if you have hibiscus tea, you may use that, but you keep in mind that it does help enhance the redness out of the henna. So if it's something you're not looking for and you don't have the coffees or teas, the regular teas, just use plain water. Another tip to help with your stubborn gray hair is to add uh, one to two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. It will help deepen the stain release as well as this also works as a substitute of lemon juice. Now normally lemon juice, you use it if you're looking for to get more redness out of the color, but since we're trying to grab a hold onto your gray hair, apple cider vinegar, um, helps hold onto the gray hair. Another recommendation is salt. Now, you do not want to use too much salt, one teaspoon in 100 grams into your henna mixture, especially if it contains indigo powder, so any of the browns or indigo powder itself. It's a little bit tricky to get um, good coverage on your gray hair. You want to add one teaspoon salt to 100 grams of henna powder, and this helps to have the henna stick onto your hair as well as enhancing the color. Now coming back to the apple cider vinegar, um, you do want to make a note, you do not use more than two teaspoons of this into your henna mixture as it does tend to dry out your hair uh, very much. So using more than two teaspoons, your hair will dry out. Another recommendation is if you uh, notice that you do have stubborn gray hair and you are trying to get coverage of one of the browns, why it's light brown, medium brown, um, dark brown, or even trying to use indigo powder, is that you use pure henna as your base on your gray hair. This will help to get better coverage once you use light brown. So use pure henna first, leave it on for three hours, and rinse it and then apply the color of your um, whatever color you choose so whether it be light brown medium brown dark brown or indigo powder trying to get jet black is that you try to do the two-step method as always you want to make sure when you do your application is that your hair is clean thank you for watching we hope you enjoy the video like comment subscribe for more